Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to print out directory listings from your computer. So you can either print them out on your printer or export them to certain file types. So we're going to be using a free tool called Directory Print OK. So it's by a company called Software OK, so they have a lot of uh, nice free tools. So this is free as well. So there is a standalone version and an installable version. So I'm just running the 64-bit standalone version, so there's nothing to install. So once you download it and extract the zip file, you just simply run the executable. And you got this message again they can get rid of. All right, so now up on the top here, we have our locations. And if you want to close the side panel, you can do that. Go up a level. Have your desktop here. Then over here we have your other drives from a drop down. And then you also have this PC here. Then you have your drives listed here as well. So I have a C and a D and an F drive on this computer. And if you click on the C drive, for example, then you'll see your typical user folders here as well. So let's say we're going to go to the Documents folder. So here are all the files and folders within the Documents folder. So you have the tree list. You could filter. So if you want to include or exclude files that you don't want to be printed, you could do that. Then we have this console list here to kind of print it out in like a command line view. Then we have some other options here. If you want to load and save your configuration, show the grid lines. Include files and folders, so it's kind of similar to what we just saw. Show only the folder structure. If you want to refresh it. Remove from the list, delete, and then this will expand your levels. So if you're in a folder here, let's say we're here, we want to expand it, you know, zero through eight levels or all levels, then we'll do that like so. Then if you want to customize the columns, you could do that. Let's say you don't want all of this information, you could remove some or add some additional columns if you want to have those printed out. Then we have the auto arrange, auto arrange and header, and export. All right, then up at the top here, we have another way to get to export, print. So if you click on print, it'll open up another window here with a print preview. Then you could do your printer setup and so on. Reposition window, auto start the program, export, which we'll get to in a second. Some view options, some window options, some extras here. You want to see, you know, address bar and title bar information. Restart as admin in case you need to do that. If you're in a folder that you can't access otherwise, then we have some info. Then up here we have print again, auto update, and this tells us what folder we're currently on. Right here, that's the one we're just on. Then we have some help, and if you want to zoom in with the magnifier, you could do that. And if you want to clear out the list, you could click this up here. All right, so let's try some of the export options. Because some work better than others, depending on how many columns you have. All right, so we'll do export. Let's do text file. So there it is in a text file. So you can see here it's not too easy to read, but if you only had a couple columns, then text file might be okay. Now we'll try a CSV file. So let's open it up in Excel, and you can see this is not too great as well if you have a lot of information. All right, HTML works rather well. So it just shows you a nice printout view, and then you could print this if you wanted to or send it to somebody. So if they didn't have the appropriate program to open it, they should be able to open the HTML file.
right? I'll do XLS for Excel. So you'll notice this is an older version of Excel file, XLS instead of XLSX. So you can see you have this message about the file format extension don't match, but you can just say yes to this. And this one actually looks pretty good. It even gives you some headers up there at the top. And then gives you different colors between the rows here. All right, now we'll try it in Word. You'll see this in older Word format as well. So this has potential if you were only doing a few columns here where you can see it goes off the page. You could go to layout and change the orientation to landscape to make it fit a little better, but it's still going to go off the page here. So this would be good, you know, for just a limited amount of columns rather than a large one like this. And then of course when you go to the print. You could do, you know, print a PDF if you want to make a PDF file instead of print it out on your actual printer. And then you can change the landscape view and so on. And we have the fit to page with options here as well if you want to kind of make it fit better. All right, so there is your overview of directory print OK. So it's not too bad for a free program, especially if you just need to do a quick directory printing. We did a couple other videos on how to print your directory. One was using a different tool and one was using just some Windows features. So if you want to check those out, those might work for you as well. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you can download Directory Print OK and you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.